Yeah. 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 Birds chirping in the morning. Yeah. Phone blow four in the morning. Yeah. Four four blurk into the morning. Yeah. Then we up working in the morning. Factor real va a ser este la rapidez. Yo creo que si tú uh, si tú ves a, al Canelo Álvarez la, las peleas que en donde él ha estado que, que ha tenido más más eh, dificultad eh, han nacido con, con boxeadores rápidos como como Floyd Mayweather como Lara Amir Khan es un peleador rápido eh, 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 que tira muchas combinaciones se mueve muy bien hay razones por cual Mayweather no quería pelear con él hay razones por cual Manny Pacquiao no quería pelear con, con, con Amir Khan así que este duelo va a ser un, un duelo bastante interesante yo me recuerdo cuando una, una gente me dijo, mira, eh, puedes pelear con, con Manny Pacquiao. Y yo me reí, yo me reí y dije, pues, ¿cómo va a ser si él, él va a subir dos categorías y le voy a ganar fácil? Con un golpe lo puedo noquear. Y pues, obviamente, sabes lo que sucedió ahí, me, me retiro. Oscar, how did you choose Khan? Because it came out of surprise. Everybody was shocked when they heard the news. What, and I heard you mention even before, what made you think that Khan would be a, a good opponent for Canelo? Well, I, look, the truth, the truth of the matter is, um, I was, um, I was sitting down on my couch, okay, and I was thinking, okay, what, what two fighters can I put in the ring and, and make it, make it the, the biggest event, you know, the biggest fight possible at the time, you know, and Eddie Golovkin has his dancing partner already, um, um, you know, uh, so, so what, what fight can I make, and, As I was watching TV, I was watching a, a, a debate with Donald Trump, okay? I was watching a debate with Donald Trump, and I said to myself, you know what? You have Canelo Alvarez, who's the biggest, most popular fighter in Mexico, um, on one hand, and who, who, what other fighter can I face him against? Wait a minute. You have, you have one of the most popular fighters uh, in, in the UK, and he's Muslim. Thank you, Trump. You know, <laughs> so he, he inspired me to make this fight, and now we're gonna have millions of fans watching on pay-per-view uh, in Las Vegas who are Mexican, who are Muslim, who are American, who are Mexican-American. I mean, it's gonna it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a, a, a spectacular event, and, and all thanks to Donald Trump. Does he Oscar. also inspire you to vote for him, Oscar? <laughs> What's that? Does he also inspire you to vote for him? Of course not. <laughs> Oscar, you, you know, Khan tried to get fights with Mayweather and with Pacquiao, two big names, and finally got Canelo. Why did Canelo was the one that said, okay, I'll fight Amir Khan? Why, why did Canelo say? Yeah. Well, because that's, look, I, I, we felt that was the, uh, the, the big event. I mean, you know, who, uh, then Golovkin has a dancing partner and, and, and a tough one. I mean, it's not an easy walk in the park for Golovkin. And, um, you know, who else, who else can we shock the world with? You know, we like thinking outside the box. I know Amir Khan for, for many years. He's willing to fight anybody. He's willing to go up there and just take the challenge. I mean, that's what makes Amir Khan great. I mean, when has Amir Khan ever been in a, in a, in a dull fight? This guy, this guy comes with everything, and he has speed. And the fights that have, that have given Canelo difficulties have been fighters with speed. And, 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 and you know, and so, so Canelo has to be on his A game. Um, I think on the contrary, I think, I think Canelo has to make sure that he, he doesn't go up in weight too much because he wants to keep his speed because Amir Khan's going to come with everything. You know, uh, um, um, you know th this is, this is going to be one of those fights where you have the, the, the most popular fighter in Mexico and the most popular fighter in, across the pond going at it on, on, a, on a super weekend like Cinco de Mayo. There's no other way around it. It's going to be a great fight. I mean, when is when is Amir Khan in a dull fight? I mean, I've, I've never seen him in a dull fight. Is there when when he faced Marcos Maidana? I mean, here you have Maidana who gave Mayweather uh, all he can handle. Um, you have Maidana, um, you know, coming after Amir Khan and Amir Khan weathering the storm and, and throwing his punches and bunches. I mean, it, it's going to be it's going to be a heck of a fight. ¿Cuál es tu proyección de pay-per-views para esta pelea, Oscar? Eh, topar un millón de casas, este, mm. eso, eso es la proyección. Este, eh, eh, obviamente, mira, tenemos, una, eh, tenemos dos grandes boxeadores, tenemos una gran arena eh, que, se va a estar, eh, que se va a estar inaugurando este, el 7 de mayo. Este, tenemos una, un gran respaldo de Tecate que va a estar este, eh, 
que va a estar este, presentándoles una, una gran campaña con el Canelo Álvarez por primera vez, eh, no nomás en español, pero en inglés. Eh, así que todo ese mercadeo técnico que vamos a, que, que vamos a estar presentando, obviamente los va a ayudar pues, para, para mandar ese mensaje, ¿no? que, que se va a llevar a cabo una gran pelea. ¿Crees que al Canelo le hace falta llegarle más al público anglosajón, no nada más el mexicano? Él, él lo está trabajando, este, uh -huh. está hablando inglés, este, ya en esta gira en Inglaterra habló inglés, este, en, en, el, en HBO 24-7 va a estar hablando inglés, el Canelo lo, lo está trabajando. ¿Lo conocen? Sí, lo conocen bastante, este, lo, lo, lo respetan allá en Inglaterra, lo estaban... Es, es un ídolo allá, a los 25 años ya, ya lo quieren mucho y lo, lo respetan y pues es lo que, lo, que, lo que no me sorprende porque ya, ya las peleas que ha estado eh, el Canelo, por ejemplo, con Mayweather, con Lara, con Trout, con Angulo, este, ya son peleas de nombre, son peleas eh, reconocidas ¿no? eh, por, a, a nivel mundial y este, yo creo que... Yo creo que el Canelo, pues a los 25 años, obviamente le falta mucho y, y, y este va a llegar muy lejos y va a ser, va a ser una, una bonita historia. Speaking of venues, you were in Jerry's World a few weeks ago. Yeah. How did that go? Yeah, How was Jerry's it? World. It was, uh, it was pretty exciting. Um, uh, you know, we talked business. We, we ended up talking for like three hours. I mean, um, he's building a new uh, training facility uh, out in Frisco. Uh, um, he's building this uh, 12,000 seat arena, which um, I, I discussed with him, uh, uh, possibly taking some uh, HBO After Dark or, or Championship Boxing uh, uh, to his to his new uh, facility there. And um, you know, we discussed um, we discussed Canelo uh, um, for a split second, and I told him, look, um, uh, after after May 8th, um, I will fly back down to Dallas, and we can continue our discussions. But uh, first thing is first. We have Amir Khan uh, on our hands, and uh, then we'll take it from there. Are you a oh, Cowboys fan now? <laughs> Am I a Cowboys fan? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm a Rams fan. <laughs> <laughs> How much better is uh, Canelo than when he fought Mayweather? Oh, a uh, thousand times better. I mean, yeah, it's, it's a whole different Canelo. I mean, especially after he fought Miguel Cotto. Um, he now knows that he doesn't have to fight perfect. Everything he wanted to do was perfect, you know. He didn't want to be off balance. He didn't want to throw <coughs> weird combinations, you know. No, go in there and just fight. Go in there and just throw your punches, land whatever you have to land, you know. I mean, don't get hit. Whatever you have to do, just go in there and just put on a show. I was going to ask you, so he didn't seem to throw a lot of combinations in that fight. That's why? Because he was waiting for he the He was waiting moment. for the perfect moment. He was waiting for, and that's exactly what he was saying. I was waiting for the perfect moment. That's the, the, the biggest flaw of, uh, you know, the, of the fight. He was waiting for the perfect moment. One of the elements <laughs> in this fight that uh, made, it, made this fight so shocking upon announcement was uh, the rival promotional company that comes coming from. How much of a factor did that play in making this fight? And, uh, were you guys working? No, no, I made this fight with, uh, with uh, Shaw, uh, his father, Shaw Khan, and, um, and with Robert Davis. Um, we, we, uh, I mean, the real reason how this fight got made, I, I sent over a tweet to Amir Khan. Yeah. Uh, I direct messaged him and I said, what do you think about fighting Canelo? And he, he told me, give me, give me two days, give me 48 hours. 48 hours later, I'm in. I love it. And Amir Khan will tell you, look, I studied him and I know I can beat him. I know I will beat him. So, I mean, that, that's who Amir Khan is. I mean, he's, he's unlike any other fighter out there that, that shies away from challenges. I mean, he will take on any challenge. Oscar, with Cowboy Stadium uh, in the conversation, what do you think is the bigger market for Canelo? Uh, we know that uh, Las Vegas is the mecca of, of uh, professional boxing belts, but uh, do you think Texas is a bigger market for him as far as that? Uh, well, I, I, shows? Think, I, think, we the market, well I in, think the market for him is everywhere. Um, you know, I mean, we, we're talking about taking him to New York. I mean, you know, I mean, first thing is first, obviously, on May 7th, but, you know, I have plans of, of taking him to New York and exposing him there. You know, uh, he has star power. He uh, People love him. People want to watch him. I remember when when me and Jesse James Leha uh, sold out the, the Madison Square Garden. I mean, you know, and, 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 um, and whoever thought, you know. So it, it's people want to see great fighters. People want to see good action fights. And, um, you know, that's what we're Speaking doing. of star power, uh, what does it take to be a superstar in boxing? Not just for Canelo, but for any boxer. I don't know. I think you, I mean you have to have the whole package. The whole package is. Uh, yeah, I mean, you have to obviously know how to fight. Um, you have to be willing to fight. Um, take the chances. Um, charisma. Um, I don't know. There's there's something about 
certain fighters that just have it, you know, and I don't know what it is, um, but they don't come around very often. Oscar, of course, everybody talks about Gennady, and I know you say you're not looking forward, but is that a fight? The fight, the fans want some sort of confirmation that that fight happens next, and they haven't got it. I mean, is, is that fight happening sooner than later? It's, is it happening this year? Believe me, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. I mean, I'm telling you, people, it's going to happen um, <laughs> sooner than later. Believe me, sooner than later. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a fight that, uh, that, um, that um, it's, it's, it's going to be a bit complicated to make, mm -hmm. but, but not impossible. Um, you know, I mean, obviously, when you have a superstar like Canelo, um, you know, and, and when you have a, a fighter like uh, Golovkin who, uh, who, who thinks he's a superstar, um, <coughs> you know, uh, um, he's a great fighter, uh, obviously, um, but, but he's not a superstar yet. You know, can he get there? Absolutely. I mean, he's a tremendous fighter. But, you know, but when you have a superstar like Canelo and, and a fighter like Golovkin, negotiations can get a little, a little dicey, a little, uh, a little uh, complicated, mm -hmm. but um, nothing, nothing that can be uh, impossible to make. So, uh, you know, we're, we're looking forward to it down the line.